are dispatched on the first alarm of a two alarm fire in a uh, massive blaze in the Bywater neighborhood. Hey, so what's going on down there? Why not responding? Yep, there it goes. Fire now, scene. When we arrive, the house is fully involved in flames. I see a woman screaming. So at first you wonder if, you know, there's people in there. We're just gonna pull it. We're just gonna, we're not gonna, don't charge it. I got it, go. Engine driver and a plug, go ahead and charge that line. Line is charged. When the building is fully involved, it's important to quickly get on the exposures, the neighboring buildings. Because you could quickly go from fighting a, a single house fire to fighting a five house fire. Hey, 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 pull over here. Let's check this room so we can get a primary done. After we know everyone's safe and evacuated. 29 in command, we're gonna primary search and no one's in the building. We can start to aggressively fight the fire. Even with two alarms, it's it's not enough men to put this fire out quickly enough. So Chief struck a third and fourth alarm. Come on. Back out. Back out. When a second alarm is struck, every single firehouse in the city of New Orleans can hear what's going on. And we could tell the fire was pretty intense. The call comes out to us. We actually were dispatched on the fourth alarm. 16 right here, Chief. When we arrived on the scene, the fire was knocked down at this point, but we still had a lot of hot spots burning. Look up in that corner. You see how it's smoldering right there? We were immediately needed to go into the main fire building on the second floor to make sure that all of it's extinguished. I got a lot of fire up here. Look at the fire over there. In that peak. Ain't gonna make it. I got a clear shot. I need three feet. Three feet, find it. Our lines are gonna reach. We're gonna pull it around the car. Trying to get a couple more feet out of it. Tell them we got it. I got it now, buddy. We had a tough time finding all the hot spots up there. Everything was collapsed on top of itself. I mean, it looks like like a bomb went off in the house. They're like the roof collapsed on it. Dude, that peak's being held by one board. Could you feel this whole place shaking? Every now and then, you feel it shake, or something would move. And, you know, you're like, man, uh, I don't know if this is good. Sound the floor, Dick. Watch the floors moving. It looks like the fire originated in the garage. There's a bunch of artists that ran apartments in the house, and they had a studio set up in the garage, and they were doing some work, and somebody forgot something on. Look, in that back corner, they can get to that? That's what you got to get. Division 2, we got it. We all clear. All clear. That's it. The fire's officially out. Vic, that ladder truck can hit you perfectly. It's a good feeling, you know? We got great firemen in the city of New Orleans, and uh, Engine 29 did a tremendous job saving these other houses. Shut it down. Chief, it's Engine 16. We're coming down from Division 2, going to rehab. Everybody was safe, you know? We never had any really major injuries. That's the main thing. All in the night's work, my boy. <laughs> good. I'm beat, buddy. Me too. I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm getting old. This is old. Yeah, I Jason, that was fun up in there. Dude, that was like that was like the old days, buddy. Making all these fires all day. Be safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. Grab the knob. Grab the knob. They're not dead. I can work with that.